We had a great question this week from one of our body sex leaders, Perfect. Fabiola. Yes. And it was so important. She's doing this for her dissertation at Widener. What is the difference between sexual satisfaction and sexual pleasure? I know, and when I read it, I went, oh. I saw you like, wow, a good question. You're making me think. <laughs> I love it. I love, that's what I love about all my questions is that the, the, these women are so smart. They ask questions that are much deeper than I realized at first. I go, oh, fit. Then I went, oh. I did the same thing because I'm like, ah, oh, it's the same thing. What are they talking about? Satisfaction, pleasure. Blah. But it's not. It's not the same thing. It isn't. And I mean, I, when I thought it out and then I, and I finally came up with, with an answer that I thought made sense. It's that, and it's my mother once again. You can't, Bestie. you can't miss what you don't know. That is profound. Well, don't you think that's why they have FGM and why we have chastity belts and why we don't women to be, be experienced? We don't encourage them to masturbate. We don't encourage them to have sex with multiple partners before no. they settle down like we do with boys because we don't want them to be knowledgeable about sex. A sexually sophisticated woman terrifies men. Because if you experience, you have pleasure, you know when it's really good, but you have to have a certain amount of experience to get there, to know that, then you know the difference. But if you've never had that experience of, of excessive, extreme, exotic pleasure, see, and I got to think, well, what? And then I thought, we get that in the body sex group. Well, during... that's what she said. No, that's what I said. No, but she agreed. She said when she was in the circle, she has been sexually satisfied in her life. With her masturbation yes. practice and her partner sex. Yes. But when she was in erotic recess in the workshop was the first time she got to those heights of pleasure. Because there's no performance. You don't have to please anyone else. You are simply enjoying yourself in an ambience of other women doing the same thing. Because it's a safe, supportive, fun space. Yeah. yeah. So once you have body sex and you get the, the circle masturbation ritual where it's just everybody is pleasuring themselves with no one else to be concerned about. Well, you don't have to worry about what you look like, exactly. how someone feels about you, how they're reacting. It's just about you. How you look, feel, or sound. It's just going for the gold. <laughs> and then when you watch other people experiencing pleasure. Yeah. And you're kind of slowing down it, or you'll hear, I think the auditory is yeah. very... I don't love that I hear you. I can hear you have this very specific sound that you make. I go, oh, she's, she start, goes. she's starting the climb. <laughs> I know your sounds too. And then I look over and I see your face. I'm like, here it comes, dancing. That's when I quickly switch to a Who song because you really like to orgasm to the Who. <laughs> That's like your preferred. I can't imagine. I really say it's still the Almond Brothers. But <laughs> anyway. That was a crazy sound mix you had. I'd go up and then I'd go, what? What, what is that? <laughs> but that's it. So the circle allows each woman to experience a fuller, more advanced, more, uh, more sophisticated form of pleasure. It's mm -hmm. like, wow. Now you have something to compare. Well, it's like going out to a gourmet meal. Precisely. Where every little item is, is positioned on the plate with a tweezer <laughs> you know, so it's all perfectly I love watching balanced. those oh. oh or going to a buffet yeah the buffet is satisfying you're full but did it dance on your tongue did it take you somewhere did it revive a memory oh so once you have that experience now you know a fuller sensation of pleasure you can weigh against that and you can take that into the other aspects of your sex life, I think. Oh, well, your life altogether. I mean, your, whole, your entire life. Your whole being. Yeah. You so, know, your being. So it's, it's, it's like you said with the food. You have a hamburger, and your stomach is full, and you're satisfied. But you sit down to a gourmet meal, and from the beginning, it's like you have the, the visual, the, the auditory, the smell. What do you call that? The taste. The taste and the... And the, and the Olfactory. Olfactory, thank you. The visual, the olfactory, and then you get the taste buds involved, and it's like... And it's multiple courses, and you sit there, and you receive, and it takes longer. It's not going through the drive through for some fast food. Is it? Will it sustain life? Is it satisfying? Yes. But when 
you sit down to that special meal. And you're taking time for yourself. That's pleasure. And I now say it correctly. I used to say pleasure. <laughs> but it's pleasure. Like pleasure. 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 And once you've had pleasure, it's like, wow, now I know. Well, it's a, a form of enlightenment, I think. Because yeah. you're releasing, releasing all this oxytocin and all this kind of oh, dopamine no. and endorphins into your brain. And once I'm noticing having a child, once a child um, experiences a sensation, yes, then they know how to draw upon that and how to stimulate themselves to that point again. It becomes something that they can repeat. So I can see how if they've never had a sensation, yeah. you, you yeah. don't develop. So it's like, how do we develop ourselves fully as people? Expansion, mm -hmm. more pleasure. But you have to be in a situation where it's happening. Mm -hmm. And too often women are so critical. We're having sex with a partner and how I look, you know, uh, my stomach is all uh, bloated and I can't. Will do I get knocked up? I mean, come on. <laughs> Let's face And that. I'm having pussy farts. What am I going to do? This is. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the circle, you can pussy fart and queef your face off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, there is a big difference between satisfaction, which is good and pleasure, which is even better. So let's just think about it. Next time you masturbate, think about going for the gold, go for the pleasure.